This is Amazon. Here are your price targets for Monday. We ended the week at $145.24, up nearly a half a percent. To the north side from where we are takes us to resistance and a potential take profit area. And that is roughly 146.36. Above that at three standard deviations and another level of resistance, 147.28 and at four standard deviations and another potential take profit area and resistance would be roughly 148.22. To the south side, back at the baseline or the middle of the trend and support, 144.46. Below that at negative two standard deviations takes us to roughly 142.52, 141.58, 141.60, and 14061. When I last talked about Amazon on the third, we were at 144.57, and I mentioned this gap to the upside. It has not filled yet, but I anticipate this to fill on Monday, and it will close out at 148.33, which is in line with four standard deviations. This closure, though, will take a few days, I think. Definitely, we will get to this level on Tuesday, but if we get to this level, I will anticipate a pullback at resistance. The next stock I wanna go over is Meta. We ended the week at 351.95, up more than 1%. To the north side from where we are takes us to roughly 354.21 and resistance and a potential take profit area. Above that, 355.59, 357.02. To the south side at negative two standard deviations and from here, support from this level to support here roughly would take us to 348.62. Below that, at another potential buy-in area and support as well, 347.23 and 345.85. Note the sell-off at resistance here, the bounce at support here, the bounce here, the bounce here, the bounce here, and this from down here, this area, when we go up to this line is resistance and then the sell-off. There's always gonna be a fight, a battle. So you cannot expect the stock to continue to go up without taking a breather. And that breather is basically the middle of the trend. The last one I wanna go over is MSCI. We are at support. Negative two standard deviations takes us roughly to 539.05, so we are very close and the middle of the trend and in this case resistance 549.72 above that there's this gap that i have been tracking i will extend it move that out of the way so again here the middle of the trend and then two standard deviations in line with the beginning of this gap at roughly 555.89, closes out at 563.76. Three standard deviations and another level of resistance, 565.76 and 570.99. And below where price is takes us to another level of support, 533.63, 523.83. Five this gap already finished and closed. It gapped down, made our way back up, closed out at roughly 555.06. If you want to see the gaps, make sure you've got it on the right candles there. This is the candles. And then you can see all the gaps and the potential fills. Doesn't mean it's going to fill, but more than likely it will. That does it for me. That's a look at Meta and MSCI. And what was the other one I just did? I've lost it already. But anyway, if there's a stock that you would like me to take a look at, please let me know.